Hello and welcome to another video. So this is a, of course, another background one. We have got the Aurelis Dragonoid. This is one I was actually looking to pick up as I had a lot of interest in using him as I think he's got some pretty okay base stats or even if he doesn't, I really just wanted to have him mainly for collectible purposes outside of that. So let's get right into this and open these up. These single packs are usually quite easy to get into. This is actually one of the first single packs of a core background I've bought other than, of course, the two Ultras. But as far as core goes, this is the first one. So we'll get into that. It looks like the cards aren't packed in individually, so this may be a non... Oh no, it's still an international one, and they're just packed in triplicate like this. 406, that's actually not that bad, considering. Might actually be worth considering running if I can get the Evos for it. And looks like we've got a couple of okay cores as well with a 600 magic shield, not quite as good as the 650B magic shield, and the minus four fists, so I definitely could use better fists, but not too bad considering what comes with them. And of course, the main attraction, the Dragonoid itself, we'll just get him out of here. These are always the most painful parts of these unboxings, getting these things out of these seals. Now there has been some issues with Dragonoids in particular that have been single form as they tend not to fold up very well. We'll see how this guy goes. He shouldn't be too bad I don't think based on the way he looks to me right now. But oh, his, oh no, his arm didn't go in. I was wondering why his wing wouldn't close. It's like oh. Although I'm pretty sure that's all meant to click in. And it doesn't appear to be doing a great job of that. So that's definitely not good. Hmm. I don't think his wings were meant to be attached to that, were they? Not to my knowledge. At least my other Drago closes are a lot easier than that as far as it goes. And it always has this little bit that kind of never wants to go right in. Let's see if we can get this guy to open. Dragos are typically, of course, one of the fan favorites as far as a back gun normally goes. It's not always the easiest thing to get these to roll on here. Getting him to go dead straight is always a nightmare too. Well, we'll give it at least a few goes, see what we can get. Otherwise, we'll just pop it down here. Let's see, magnet is there. There we go. And it looks like he's actually got a fairly decent magnet. The chance of picking up two isn't high, but isn't isn't impossible. So that's actually handy to know. So there he is, the Dragonoid for Aurelius, Aure yeah, Aurelius, 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 either way, same difference for me, fairly decent overall, definitely don't mind it, if I can get the uh, Evos for him, I will definitely look at using him in the deck as that's some pretty solid stats right there, and should be pretty usable with a Magic Shield and Fist, so definitely not a bad looker, that's for sure. Really, it does become a nightmare though to get this camera to focus on what I want. Because I just want to have a, a good look at him. Ah, oh, here we go. It looks like it's finally decided uh, it will focus. It's got these, of course, little arms. I don't know if this color scheme though is great for Dragonoid. I think most of the others do have a little nicer design as far as look goes, at least. But this certainly is not the worst possible design they could have went with for him, so I'm definitely at least happy about that, so that's pretty good. <laughs> so, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, even though it was a short one, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. We will hopefully be opening more background products in the future, so do keep an eye out for those. Until next time, see ya.